Hello dear students, we have already started with a new topic from module 4 that is method of analysis of complexes under which we have already covered first two methods that is continuous variation method and the distribution method. In today's class we will cover this method that is pH titration method. PH titration method is the most reliable method and can be used whenever the complexation is attended by any change in pH. To understand this method better, let's take one example. We take the example of chelation of cupric ions by glycine. Cupric ion combined with two molecules of glycine to give us a complex Cu NH2 CH2 COO and two protons H positive. Since two protons are formed in the reaction, the addition of glycine, this is your glycine, the addition of glycine to a solution containing cupric ions should result in decrease in pH. Jesse hi hum cupric ions ke solution me glycine ko add karengi. This complex is getting generated. Okay, and two protons are getting generated. Generation of these two protons decreases the pH. In pH titration method, hum lo kya karte hai? Hum titration curves banate hai. Titration curves hum kaise bana sakte hai? We add a strong base, koi strong base. For example, we add sodium hydroxide to First solution hai mera glycine ka jaha maine akela glycine liya hai usme main sodium hydroxide add karungi second solution is my glycine and cupric ion mixture and i will note down change in ph we will plot a graph between a change in ph on the y-axis and amount of sodium hydroxide ML NaOH on the x-axis. We will get this type of curve. This one for glycine alone and this curve for glycine and copper solution. Horizontal distance between these two curves at a particular pH. A particular pH pe jo horizontal distance hoga between the two titration curves will give the amount of alkali used. Kitni amount alkali ki use ho rahi hai. This quantity of alkali is equal to the concentration of ligand bound at any pH. So this amount will give us the indication of how much concentration of ligand has bound to metal ion at any particular pH. You can very well note down from this particular curve that curve for metal glycine mixture that is this curve is well below that for the glycine alone which is this curve meri metal glycine ki jo curve hai wo alone glycine se bahut niche lie karti hai theek hai 
and the decrease in ph shows that complexation is occurring throughout most of the neutralization range so if we take so if we try to calculate the two important parameters for my complex generation first the ratio in which my ligand is binding with the metal ion and the second the stability constant for the complex generation you can easily understand from this equation that one molecule of your metal is binding with two molecules of your glycine theek hai to agar main is process ko mathematically explain karu i can divide this particular reaction into two steps in the first step my metal ion is binding with the first molecule of the ligand where n is my metal a is my ligand to generate first set of complex in second step my ma jo mera step 1 ka product tha it will bind with one more molecule of the ligand to give me my final complex which is me2 one molecule of my metal is combining with two molecules of my ligand so if i write the stability constant for the first step it will come out to be ma divided by concentration of m multiplied by concentration of a for the second step my k2 stability constant is equal to m a2 divided by concentration of m a multiplied by concentration of a so my overall reaction is one molecule of my metal is combining with two molecules of my ligand to give me my final product and the overall stability constant will be product of the individual stability constants aur wo kiske barabar aayega ma2 divided by concentration of metal ion concentration of ligand to the power 2 here 2 is the number of ligand molecules that is binding with my metal ion in this particular case this is 2 iski value 2 hai theek hai so if i want to calculate this n because this will give me the information about the ratio in which these two are combining theek hai it will be equal to total concentration of ligand base bound bound divided by total concentration of metal ion in our case the maximum value of n can be 2 and it can range from 0 to 2 theek hai hamare case mein n ki value 0 se 2 ke beech mein lie kar sakti hai so if i want to calculate n over here what i will get total concentration of the ligand bound कितना लिगेंड मेरा बाउंड है उसकी टोटल कंसंट्रेशन किससे गिवन होगी इफ यू लुक एट दीज टू स्टेप्स इन एम ए मोइटी यू आर हैविंग अ बाउंड लिगेंड ये आपका बाउंड लिगेंड है प्लस टू एम ए टू ठीक है व्हाई वी हैव टेकन दीज टू ओवर हियर बिकॉज two molecules of ligand are contained in each molecule of the species ma2 isiliye maine yahan pe ye 2 liya hai ye mujhe values kahan se mili in dono steps ko agar aap identify karo yahan kaun kaun si moieties hain jahan pe mera bound ligand hai ek ye moiety hai ek ye moiety hai 
इसमें मेरा लिगेंड अलोन प्रेजेंट है तो ये एक कंट्रीब्यूट करेगी यहाँ मेरे टू मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ लिगेंड प्रेजेंट है इसलिए इसके मैंने टू नंबर लिया है डिवाइडेड बाय टोटल कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ मेटल आइन मेटल आइन कहाँ कहाँ प्रेजेंट है मेटल आइन यहाँ पे प्रेजेंट है मेटल आइन मेरा यहाँ पे प्रेजेंट है मेटल आइन मेरा यहाँ पे प्रेजेंट है सो इन द डिनोमिनेटर आई विल राइट एम एम ए एंड एम ए टू अंडर स्पेशल केस लेट्स ज्यूम that the value of n is 1 under that scenario this equation will change to 1 equal to ma concentration plus 2 ma2 divided by concentration of m plus ma plus ma2 or what we can do we can write it ma plus 2 ma2 equal to m plus ma plus ma2 this in this can cut This and this can cut. यहाँ आपका एक एम ए टू रिमेनिंग है सो वॉट यू विल गेट एम ए टू इज इक्वल टू एम और इफ यू अगेन गो टू दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेशन अगर मैंने इसको रीराइट करना है मेरे पास क्या आ गया था इफ आई अगेन राइट दैट थिंग बीटा is equal to ma2 concentration divided by concentration of m divided by concentration of the ligand ye mere paas overall stability constant initially tha if i put this thing over here what i will get beta will be equal to ye dono cut ho jayenge 1 upon e square taking log on both side my log beta will be equal to minus 2 log of a or we can rewrite this equation as minus log a equal to can be written as pa which will be equal to half log beta remember this thing holds true when n is equal to 1 kyunki humne ye assumption li hai it's a special case so we can estimate pa from the equation kis equation se hum ye identify kar sakte hain pa is equal to pka minus ph minus log ha initial minus naoh now this is the concentration of लेगन बाउंड कितना लेगन मेरा बाउंड है लेगन क्या था मेरा एग्जाम्पल में ग्लाइसी एंड दिस इज द डिसोसिएशन कॉन्स्टेंट ऑफ लेगेंट और ग्लाइसी दिस इज द पी एच वैल्यू वेन n is equal to 1 this is the glycine concentration at initial stage and 
this is the horizontal distance between the curves at pH jump n equal to 1. Tha. Tab kya horizontal distance tha. Thank you.